Welcome to the only comedy podcast on the internet. Eric is the best. Yes. Eric is the best. <laughs> it's the Coffee Jelly Hour, episode 41. I'm Tony. I'm joined by Ace, Matt, and Seth. We're preaching. Love hate in my name. Yeah, there we go. I've been practicing it all week. Is that okay? <laughs> that but I get stressed when I'm getting to your name. Like, I've got to say it right. I've got to say it right. <laughs> How are we doing? Are we all okay? Yeah, so far. Yeah. Great. What have we been up to? Anything good this week? Ace playing with kids' toys. Yeah. Like I've been working. You got, like a, you got some like you've been working. You're still working. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Ace Ace, you've got a five nights at Freddy's Lego playset. Although you guys call it Legos for some bizarre reason. Well, actually, Lego. I just wanted actually, to correct you. Actually Lego. it's Lego. a Todd McFarlane builder block set. Oh, so it's not really Lego. It's compatible yeah. with major Lego. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh yeah. fancy! It's a rip, basically. It's a bit of a rip off, yeah. So. Yeah. Well, so how well, is it? It's uh, it's fantastic. I really like it. Um, uh, oh, I, one the, question: I, I I did see the photo of this playset, and I'm just wondering, you have you got no lights in your house? Because it was very dark. That photo. I was kind of. I was like, I, I, I just I just yeah. have my dim my dim room light, and I yeah. wasn't. It's I quite was moody fucking studio lights to, to show off a, a toy that you, like, you could probably Google search for a better picture. Oh, I think you should. I think you should. Really. Please, just for me. Can you do that? <clears throat> so yeah, so, anyway, I was jealous of that. That looks well good. It's a fantastic toy. It's a fantastic toy. But nobody cares about my toys. They care about our asinine opinions on, on medias. And, and I had a question that I've been loaded for a while now that I really wanted to ask you guys. Um, right. The question, question I have, and this is, this is something that I was thinking about heavily throughout the week. What is a movie that you know is bad, that you know you shouldn't like, but that you like despite it? And you could see it for Ooh. its flaws. You know it's a bad movie. You know whether mm. whether it's manipulative or it's shitty, but you really like it. And I've been thinking mm. about that because of the fanfare with uh, Suicide Squad and Ghostbusters and everything. Mm. I really want to know what your guys' personal picks are. Ooh, and and, and I'll, even, I'll even hit it up. A, a, sure. a series of movies that I think... I know it's terrible. I know I shouldn't want, like. I, I know how manipulative and by numbers it is, but I still like it. Is the new Planet of the Apes series? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. They're they're massively uncreative. They're fucking yeah. predictable. They're nothing but shitty special effects kind of show offs. There's not a lot going on, and yet I have enjoyed every one of those films immensely. Yeah. 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 It's good. The, the kind of like no brainers, aren't they? Yeah. Really? Like they're they're less yeah. than no. No brainers. They're they're really predictable. Yeah. They're kind of like okay, you know. Yeah, 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 it's, yeah. It's, it's well, obvious Hollywood tripe. Every yeah. character that is even remotely unimportant is the most generic thing ever. It's like, hi, I'm Angry Man Number Five. <laughs> oh, I am. Yeah. I am female love interest. I am artistic yeah. teenage son. Yeah. It's everybody's very by the numbers, but every cliche. Really yeah. enjoy the. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'll tell you what. I'll throw in uh, Jurassic World. I kind of enjoyed that. Loads of people fucking hated it. But I'm like, it's great. It's a no brainer. It's you just switch off and watch it, and yeah, big fuck off dinosaurs, and it's yeah, dumb characters. I I I, I kind of liked it because hmm. sometimes that's what you're looking for when you watch a movie. I want escapism. I want dumb escapism at times. Now yeah. I, I hate to inform you about yeah. this, but according to Joss Whedon, you are now sexist. <laughs> is is it true? It was just what? when that. Movie- a lot of people forgot, but when that movie was first announced, Joss Whedon was tweeting about how, once again, female characters are portrayed as being blah, 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 and, like, the movie yeah. hadn't even... It was just announced, and it was like, you, oh... Are you talking about the female T-Rex? Is that what we're going with? <laughs> she was portrayed for, really. Uh, yeah. <laughs> she just portrayed as a monster? It's fucking All she terrible. did was just scream and eat people. Yeah. It's like, that's what women are. It's like time of the month. Yeah, we get it, love. Yeah, it's one of those things, isn't it? Yeah. So, <laughs> any, any other movies? Um, any other my dumb, guilty. My flesh? choice is Ultraviolet, and I think I showed really? Ace this one. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Like, it's that. not even. It's not even one of those movies where it's like, oh, this could be good. It's yeah. like I cringe all the way throughout it, but I still love it. Is, is, is it? I don't it know What's it? What's the name in it? I forgot. Um. Uh. Yeah. Mila. Mila. Djokovic. Yeah. 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 That's the one. Yeah. Yeah. I know the. I know the one. 
Yeah, yeah, and I, I know the movie. Yeah, I thought it was. <laughs> Melia Chokovich, come on, can I can I hear it? Where's my autoerotic asphyxiation Ooh. peep set? <laughs> Didn't that's, it's that sexist? Did she end I up know. going out with the director of, of this movie? Or oh, is, yeah, she did. Like they, he had an affair with her, I think. Yeah. Or or, uh, or every single movie she's in, does she go out with the director? She has a fling with the director. I don't know. It's, that I'm is just, a common thing. Yeah. I don't know. I need to look into she's, that. She's got a thing for directors, apparently. I think. Yeah, really. yeah, yeah, a thing for yeah. directors. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's that's what it is. So let, let me just put that out there, really. So. All right, Matt. Just slow. Oh, sorry, go. On. Uh, I don't really know. Like, that's a tough question that I know is bad. Uh, <clears throat> I mean, a lot of the Friday the 13th series. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's a very bad series, but I still love the hell out of watching it. So. Yeah. 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 I suppose it was like uh, the Halloween series as well. Yeah, that too. Yeah, one, I love that. Second, yeah, those are all really that. bad. And the, the first and second ones Even, are pretty good. But the yeah. after that, it goes downhill. Ace yeah. likes the third one. I need to rewatch the, the, the third one. But let's the, face the, it, though, the, after, after the third one, it gets really shit, doesn't it? But I still third, watch them. Let, let me break down the third one really fast. A man who hates children steals Stonehenge to put chips of it in masks that turns people's heads into bugs. That is the greatest what? film ever made. Uh, fuck. Wait, was really? that the third one? That's the third mm-hmm. one. <laughs> wait, wait, I watched that with you, right? Yeah, it's great. I need to watch that again. That was bizarre. I, I loved that it ended the way it did. Yeah, it has a great. It's a great film. John Carpenter, number one. John Carpenter is the coolest guy in Hollywood. If you ever see an interview with him, he is like an old beatnik. He's so fucking cool. Like it's just, <laughs> I, 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 I just, I, I would be like, I'm. You're too cool for me, John Carpenter. And probably like, I know. <laughs> And then, like, smoke his cigarette uncaringly. Like, he's the only guy who got cancer and was like, Ugh, I have cancer. <laughs> like, like, fucking John Carpenter's a Hold badass. on, hold on. Hold on, he's got cancer. Has he got, got skin cancer, cancer from, from filming the thing. Uh, he oh. got skin cancer because the, the UV rays hit the snow and et cetera, et cetera. And he's just like, mm-hmm. where's sunscreen? My favorite... <laughs> My favorite John John Carpenter story I ever heard was from Rob Zombie, who oh, yeah. who who called him up. Uh, he's like, uh, you know, I'm a really big fan, and the studio wants me to direct Halloween, the remake, and I just want your blessing. It's like really important. And John Carpenter's response is, "You said you were a zombie? No, I'm I'm, 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 I'm Rob Zombie. I'm I'm You're from a band. Too, huh? <laughs> I'm in a band. Oh, oh but um." The thing is, is uh, I'm remaking your film Halloween. Am I being paid? Yeah, you're being. Yeah, okay. I'm oh, for. Oh. And that was it. Like he didn't even know who Rob Zombie was or anything. He's just the coolest <laughs> guy ever. Oh, that's amazing. That was so yeah. good. Okay, but, but to, to throw back, <laughs> old old horror films don't count because they they are considered classics in their own right if you talk to horror nerds they're always gonna be like oh my god freddy yeah. goes to hell or jason goes to hell fuck yeah uh, dream child amazing you you gotta you gotta be a little bit more like universally reviled <laughs> it, it's gotta be something that you know at your very core this is a mm. bad film it's got it, it doesn't it, like because a lot of people could go like well rocky horror picture show but rocky horror picture show is great now i'll tell you yeah. one that's on my list that is yeah. reviled freddy versus jason oh, I've never seen it, to be honest that, that doesn't that, even have yeah i don't think that one's all that bad though i mean it's not I, good but it's not you get exactly what you paid for you get 20 minutes of Freddy and Jason beating the fuck out of each other. You get a yeah. more compelling fight scene at the end of that than you get in any of the Star Wars prequels. It's Maybe true. I need it's to true. watch it. Maybe I need to watch this. It's, it's dumb as fuck. Basically, people get brutally slaughtered for an hour and a half, and then it ends in a massive fight scene, and then it ends. Is, isn't is Jason, like, the, the good one in that? Well, at first, Kinda? he's bad. Because Freddy's using him to kill people, not really a spoiler for a fucking two decade old movie. But uh, hold on, I'm gonna watch it. You just, you're not oh, missing anything. If, you, if, you, if you're if you're watching <laughs> if you're watching Freddy versus Jason for some sort of for some sort of like intenseness, you need to reevaluate how you watch yeah. horror movies. 
Yeah, it's like true. people. Yeah. Who, it's like people who actually got into the mystery of Saw when Saw's big secret is that just adds in a new character in the eleventh hour. Like <laughs> I'm the detective that you didn't know about. Dun 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 dun. dun, dun. Game over. Are you I fucking love the Saw movies, by the way. <laughs> I know. I know. I know. It's it's cool. I, you know what? I kind of like the Final Destination movies. They're kind of dumb but it's fun, really. So yeah, I kind of like that. Those definitely count because they they haven't lived up to a huge horror reputation like Freddy no. and Jason has. That's true. I'd be that's quite true. I'd be quite happy if they just kept churning those out and it was like sort of Final Destination twenty seven. They're like, yep, I'll watch this one. Well, I would just keep watching. Which you, yeah. which you gotta really put the blame on is goddamn Paranormal Activity fucked up everything. Oh, yeah. Every horror yeah. movie. Because then it turned into every horror movie was like it's about yeah. hauntings and it's and then you get you get you get incredibly unoriginal unoriginal stuff like fucking unfriended which is the only mm. only movie to date that I could recall that I could not make it through. I tried. Wow. Normally I can make it through. I got halfway and I fucking gave up. It's so irritating. Hold on, which which movie? Exactly. Unfriended. unfriended. All oh, right, shit. No, I haven't. I haven't seen that. now. It's 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 unlikable characters sitting in front of a laptop, and then they get killed off by a retarded ass. Oh, you uh, f- can't say retarded. They get killed off by an exceptional human being ghost. Yes, special. <laughs> Very special. So yeah, fuck yeah. unfriended. Yeah. Also, fuck that Poltergeist remake. Oh my oh, god, I, I, I avoid. I didn't that. see that. No, nope. nope. Yeah. It no. is. It is. It is. And and Seth will agree. It is the one time you could point to something and go, "They need to not remake stuff." Oh, like, is like that is the that? ultimate example of missing the point entirely. They committed yeah. the one sin. I was like, whatever they do, I hope they don't do this thing. They showed the, the other side. Oh, they that's really. horrible. Yeah, I, that was so the you thing. Get see you don't get to so see it. You get it. to see where the little girl goes. Yeah, yep. you, oh, but they fly, oh. <laughs> you fly a fucking drone through it. Uh, Oh it's fucking hell! Are you joking? <laughs> oh my god! I'm not joking. Literally a drone. Oh, it really, shit. It really you know, brought it to the, the... What one of the things that makes the original really fucking spooky is when the little girl disappears and you, you hear the voice through the TV and you're just like, I I don't know where the fuck she is. Well, well also, you, also you, fucking your imagination... Zelda Williams. She fucking oh, yeah, scares shit. the hell out of me. Oh yeah, that yeah, she's freaky. Yeah, 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 absolutely freaky. Yeah, she's yeah, she's yeah, weird. But yeah, yeah. remake. Fuck remake. <laughs> so what? So what? What else have we been up to? I believe Matt's been reading Penn's new book. Yeah, I started it last night. It's it's funny. It's good so far. I mean, it's just it's detailing. You know, his his major health scare when his blood pressure went up so high he oh, had to shit. be hospitalized and. His doctor was saying he, you know, needed a, a stomach sleeve, but uh, I was laughing in bed and reading portions of it out loud to my wife because the uh, the disclaimer at the front, he's like, you know, for a lot of legal reasons, and I'm not going to word it as eloquently as he does, obviously. I wish I had the book here in front of me, but it's upstairs. He uh, s- says, you know, for a lot of le- legal reasons, people... Uh, have to put disclaimers at the front of health books, but this this isn't for you know legal reasons. This is for me. I'm really passionate yeah. about it. This is from my heart. I am a dipshit, fat fuck, <laughs> carny trash <laughs> juggler who is just you know I'm stupid and this is crazy. Do not get your life advice from a fucking juggler. Don't oh. you know all this other stuff. I'm yeah, just sitting there laughing ever. so hard. It's just it's so, <laughs> so great cool. and it's worded so much. That. Yeah, I love it. it's 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 uh it's the Guar defense. Like I love yeah. it whenever whenever Pin is a pundit on like a on like a political mm-hmm. show. It's the same thing as Guar because because the singer of Guar used to be a pundit a lot on Fox shows. Like he'd appear and he'd yeah. be like, "Politics, I think Sarah Palin should be raped." And <laughs> people, people would argue him like passionately. And Dave oh. Rocky, the guy who played Odorous or his slave, quote unquote, oh, yeah. he'd be like. You know what's hilarious to me is is I'm just some fucking trashy guy from the Midwest dressed up as an alien, and they're actually <laughs> arguing. Like, they're it, arguing yeah, serious. And that's oh, why, no, that's yeah. why yeah. I always think of that with Pin. I'm like, God, I love you, Pin. I love the fact that you're 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 a high school practical high school dropout who's a fucking juggler yeah. who's arguing with these like Harvard level like oh yeah, do a fancy college about politics you don't it's understand. Brilliant. Yeah. 
really no and then it goes on and like he says he says uh, you know i started eating or he said something about you know my doctor basically gave me a license to go crazy because i had this time frame that i had to lose weight and so i started being an adult and doing the right sensible adult diet and then i met you know but i was still looking for the crazy because i always like to do the craziest thing possible and i don't do and i don't do moderation well and then i met ray cronice and it that's where it kind of that's where i kind of left off was him you know meeting ray cronice and kind of learning about the uh the extreme diet that he went on and you know all through this journey and i'm probably going to be the same in the book i think there's a lot of ray cronice's stuff that's jive but i think there's stuff that's jive in pretty much any diet oh yeah Yeah, 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 anything involving nutrition yeah and you know, and he says it in the book. He goes, this is what I did. It's not what everybody should do. And, you know, this is one way to do things yeah. and that kind True. of thing. So, Well, yeah, I mean, yeah. There is, there's science. If you eat nothing but but salad, you're pretty much plain salad and potatoes, yeah, I, you're going to yeah, lose weight. But that's yeah. Basically like, what his, yeah, that's basically what his diet boils down to is he, he, it's – it's really, really difficult to eat 5,000 calories of broccoli. <laughs> like, yeah, and, and that's, that's all it comes down yeah. to. And yeah, I agree because I remember when Ray Cronice was on Penn's podcast and he was like, babies don't have cancer. I'm like, what? What? <laughs> no, that was, that was Furman, I think. Okay, Furman oh, and yeah. Cronice, I think they're both, they're both Furman, little, yeah. little they're, they're a little heavy on the nutso side. Because it was, it was Cronice who was like, who was like yeah. I'm going to be eating. Nobody's good. I'm on a diet where I just consume water molecules. Wow. Oh yeah, he went on the water. Yeah, he went on the water fast. Yeah, he's yeah. he's a, he's a nut, but as long know, as he doesn't have to move much, he'll be fine. Insane. But I think That's it good. is, you know, and I th- I think the book will accomplish what I think Penn is, himself has already accomplished to a certain degree to this point, and it will be just to inspire people to consume fewer calories. You know. Well, more importantly, it will, it will accomplish the one thing that the book is supposed to accomplish. It'll be read. Yep. Oh, indeed. Indeed. But, uh, yeah, and you know, yeah, some, some people, some people go on crazy water diets. Other people stay up for fucking uh, days working on crap animations. So yeah. we're <laughs> all a little nuts on our own shit. I thought, I thought you were going to say some people stay up stupid late to do silly podcasts. I thought that was going to say. But yeah, well, it's fine. Oh, no, yeah. no, don't, worry, don't worry about it. No, who, who could that be? I really don't know. Well, it's not any of us. It's you, Tony. It's yeah, not right here. Okay. I just blame the time. So <laughs> yeah, maybe, maybe, like maybe if Brexit hadn't have, have happened, things would be okay. I, I do. It would be blame early Brexit. Time Brexit. zones are just dumb. Like, yeah, whatever. We it, should it, all it, be it, up at the same time. Yeah, exactly. So yeah, you should be up when it's dark. Would that work? Are you behind us? Because I'm speaking for the future now. I am speaking. Yeah, I guess you are technically. Yeah. Eleven thirty-four p.m. Definitely, Ace. Uh, I've seen some of your new uh, ICS animations. I don't know if they are new, but the the new online, aren't they? Which were wonderful. Really, really like them. Very funny. I've seen two of them. There's more. I know. So I need yeah. to watch more. Well, there's, so. there's 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 only two. Oh, there's only two. Okay, then. There's the, I've, I've seen the, both of them, the duck fucker yeah. and the G- jihadi improv. Jihadi improv. Yeah, I'd, yeah, really good. Fucking awesome, man. What's what type of views are they getting at the moment? Are they, uh, are you... Um, what was what was crazy to me is when the when the duck one came up, its view count was pretty high and its likes were moderate. They, it didn't get a lot of oh, likes. Really? But it, got like, it got like forty shares like right off the bat. I'm like, huh? Wow. Like it got more comments and shares than anything, but the like ratio wasn't that high. So it was really was, that's I, and, and I mean, I'm I'm altogether grateful because again, it was a piece of shit that was sitting on my fucking computer for like a year now. Oh, like, they're great. It had no yeah. purpose, and I was just like, oh, I'm going to upload this thing. Fuck it. Fucking brilliant. I was, I was cool. drunk at the time, too. Yeah. As, as I got that off to them. Yeah, like, I could tell. Watch like, the Simpsons stuff. movie. <laughs> and, uh, Actually, yeah. The, the, they're awesome. And, and the Watch the Simpsons movie, that reminds me, we should get into some fan fiction soon, shouldn't we? Really? Yeah, we, we probably Ooh. should, because this is going to be a just, fucking hell of a chapter. And is there another shouldn't. really long one? All yeah. of them are yeah. fucking that's what, long. That's what, that's what she said. Um, yep. Yeah, uh, you know who, I, who I've missed this week, who I've really, really missed? Our oh, buddy um, Eric. Um, Eric. Me. Eric. Uh, your, your Eric. Child that was and so Seth. Cool. And Seth. <laughs> and Seth. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. I, I only missed Seth because uh, you, you offered well, to give me yeah, red hair. Dumpster baby. 
as well, so that's fine. No, that's good. Eric so, is the best. I mean, roadhead. Um, that's cool. <laughs> should we get into some uh, sexy fan fiction? We absolutely should. I mean, does anybody have any any new or old business to cover first? Anybody have any any nah, long winded missions? Nah, fuck that shit. No, no, no. <laughs> Anyone want to say anything else before we get into it? Do we all uh, no have... ghosts here. No ghosts. Eric here. is great. Oops. Eric is great. Eric is great. Hey, did Eric. You, did you Eric, Eric is God. What are you trying? Eric. What are you trying to say about women? Eric. What? Who? Eric. Where? Eric is better try, than what women. What are you trying to say? What are you trying to say about women? You saying some fuck ghosts? You fucking yeah. you, no, you could suicide. Good squad. Saying, Will Smith. E- I was saying Eric's not a woman, so Eric I hate is women. The best, That's what yeah. Yeah, he's the best, so that's what I was saying. So welcome to the amazing world of Gumball. Different from here on out. Chapter 4. By Hellbent cons- 13. We, we keep forgetting... Oh, no, sorry. Sorry, sorry. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sorry. Written, fan fiction written by Hellbent 13. Yeah. I uh, can't wait to find out what that title is about. Yeah. Gender male, skin color white, hair dark brown, height six foot, favorite food, Polish, halus- haluski, haluski, Disposition, fun-loving, reckless, little insane. <laughs> oh, you still have that up. More fun we, don't need, we don't need to find out his, his quirks. Enjoy long on. walks on the beach and girls who like poetry. Disposition, fun-loving, reckless, a little insane, and more fun-loving. Hmm, okay, then. That's fair. <laughs> He's very fun-loving, because he said it twice, really. Chapter 4, The co- the Consequences. Are you, are you ready for this, Matt? Yes. Ready? Tobias' bum, house. Bum, bum, <laughs> bum, yeah. Gumball awoke, spooning with Carrie again. A lot of yes. people from the party had gone home, with a few still passed out here and there. Gumball saw Jamie on the couch, but couldn't see Eric. What's up, Gumball? Eric's fucking hell. I'm gonna crack up through. You know when Eric... I when I start when I started, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna let up an inside. When I started, my mm. my goal was to make Eric into Elpis, and that's where I was talking. I was kind of talking like, yeah, like this. He is. Bit, and I was going he is. Low. He is but, but basically, Mike. I've been slowing down and I'm kind of a slow Elvis. That'll be all the pills, you know. Yeah. Eric said, walking out of the kitchen with a large plate of greasy bacon. Oh, he's cool. My stomach hurts. Gumball said, getting up off the love seas. That's why I made the bacon. Eric's <laughs> capital B for bacon. Eric said, eating. <laughs> Eric said, eating assom. <laughs> sure. Hey, that's all right. How is bacon going to help? Gumball said, confused. You still got some beer in your stomach, and when you eat greasy food, it mixes with the beer molecules, causing explosive <laughs> diarrhea, making you feel better. I, I Eric know. said. Now I'm gonna have to ask our resident alcoholic here, Seth. No. <laughs> No, I thought you gonna, I thought you were gonna ask me because I'm English. But <laughs> okay, no, that's it's not true. <laughs> Is that not true? <laughs> I've Have never you tried heard it? Of, I've Have you never tried heard it? of this method. I'm, by like, the way. I've, I eat, yeah, I eat greasy food when I have a hangover. I, I don't yeah, get diarrhea. Yeah. Explosive. No. It, it helps, but it's not in the way that they're Ex- describing it. Explosive. Apparently, explosive diarrhea makes you feel better. There we go. Okay, well, let's get into the science of it. There we yeah. go. Well, well I, I also like to get to the, the visual that I think Carrie's probably awake and laying there horrified as they're talking about that. <laughs> like, 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 I love it. It's oh, amazing. You're it's the best shit thing ever. ever. <laughs> it's gross. <laughs> like, like, fucking, her vagina turned into the Sahara after this conversation. That's what you think. <laughs> I'm ready to go again now. <laughs> okay. So it makes you shit your brain out and you <laughs> feel better. Gumball said. Yeah, pretty much. Eric said, eating more bacon. <laughs> well, give me some. Gumball <laughs> said. <laughs> oh, right. Sorry. Eric <laughs> said, giving him some bacon. Once they finished their bacon, they quickly felt like they had to shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> Guys, I just, I gotta what? stop eating again. <laughs> I <laughs> do this every week and it just keeps getting worse. <laughs> this is classic. This is fucking terrible. <laughs> Man, I got a shit. Gumball said, standing up. Me too. 
<laughs> Eric's dead also standing up. How many bathrooms are there? Ah, oh, there we go. I'll use the upstairs bathroom. You can use the one down here. Gumball said, speed walking to the stairs. <laughs> <laughs> Clenching okay. his buttocks. Okay, you might want to wash that off your forehead. Eric said before rushing to the bathroom. What? Gumball said halfway up the stairs, but then his stomach groaned loudly. He then made a mad rush for the bathroom. He ran up the stairs and down the hall to the bathroom, slamming and locking the door. He made it to the toilet, dropped his pants, sat down and oh, let God. loose. Oh, After God. a long while of shitting furiously, <laughs> Gumball... Furiously? <laughs> oh, I'm so mad! I'm taking this shit! It's horrible! Oh, oh, oh. This shit! <laughs> <laughs> Gumball wiped, pulled up his boxers and pants, then flushed. He went to the sink, washed his hands before noticing a large dick drawn in Sharpie on his forehead. Come on. Gumball complained, washing off the drawn-on dick from his forehead. After washing it off, he noticed his right arm was sore. He looked at his arm, seeing a three-inch by three-inch black iron cross with a black outline around it, showing his blue fur in between, just above the elbow. Fuck. That actually <laughs> looks pretty cool. And it's very well done, but it's gotta go. Gumball thought, trying to wash it off, but to no avail. Why isn't it coming off? Gumball said to himself, trying harder to wash it off, but again, with no success. Fuck! It's a tattoo! Gumball yelled frantically. He then ran downstairs. Downstairs bathroom. Bum, bum. <laughs> Eric was washing his hands when he noticed his new tattoo. It was the same as Gumball's, the same size and in the same place, only he had his brass brass knuckles tattoo above it. Do you guys remember that time you met somebody and then you guys both got tattoos in the same fucking night you met each other? Yeah, it's six or seven ta- times, times now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. My Best friends forever. <laughs> Sweet, don't it happened the first time I met Eric, night. man. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember getting that last night. Oh well, I like it. Eric said calmly, as it wasn't a big deal to him. He then walked out of the bathroom to find a frantic Gumball waiting for him. Dude, I got a tattoo last night. Gumball yelled frantically, showing Eric his new ink. Yeah, I got the exact same one. Eric said, showing him his tattoo as well. How did we get them? Gumball said, still freaking out. Eric pondered a moment before it hit him. Mm. Oh shit, I'll remember now. Eric began. Flashback. 11pm. Eric. <laughs> Eric, and... <laughs> Eric and his friend. That just throws me that. Eric and his friends were playing Flip Cup. <laughs> oh, this is me. This is me. <laughs> hey, Eric. Tattoos are cool. I was thinking of getting one myself. Gumball said, intoxicated. I saw tattoo parlor a couple blocks away. I got some money. I really want one. Then we're gonna go to Blockbuster. We're gonna rent. (laughs) (laughs) I knew that was coming in. Eric said, also intoxicated. (laughs) Fuck yeah. Gumball said. <laughs> well, let's go, but I'm not driving. It's not that far away. Eric said. All right! <laughs> Gumball exclaimed happily. They both got up and left the house. Tattoo parlor. 11.15pm. Gumball and Eric arrived at the late night. Tattoo parlors. <laughs> tattoo parlor. That Gumball and Eric. <laughs> Gumball and Eric arrived at the tattoo parlor. So, what do you want to get? Eric said to Gumball. Uh, let's get matching tattoos since we're best friends. Gumball said. Let's get a. You uh, get Marge and I'll get Homer. Because they're, <laughs> they're badass. Eric said enthusiastically. <laughs> Hell yeah, man. I love you. No homo. Gumball said, <laughs> pulling Eric into a bro hug. 
I love you too. I miss your mom. <laughs> Eric said they released the bro hug, causing them both to stagger a bit. Huh? Can I help you two gentlemen? The tattoo artist said to them both. Oh, 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 fucking there's a guy here. Okay, um, <clears throat> yeah, we like to get matching cross tattoos. Like, kind of like a swastika, but like you don't have to screw up. Kind of like, hey. like I saw one in a magazine with the uh, fucking motorcycles. You look at me, I was trying to sell. <laughs> Eric said, pointing to the spot on his right arm. Oh. All right. <laughs> Wait, is this, oh, I'm not, are we at that part yet? I, I really we don't it, know. We want it back. Eric said, showing the tattoo it's artist. It's big as a potato. We're gonna, we're gonna <laughs> get tattoos that we're gonna, we're gonna go watch. <laughs> All right, I just need to see your IDs and we can get started. The tattoo artist said. Come on, we don't have IDs. I'm gonna give them some. <laughs> Eric okay. said, hand, hand him $200. <gasps> Works for me. The tattoo artist said, pocketing the money. Gumball and Eric got their tattoos and Eric paid for them both. They walked back to the party and played more Flip Cup. End of flashback. Bum, bum. Once Eric f- finished the story, Gumball just stood there for a minute. I do like the tattoo. Gumball said sincerely. Yeah, me too. Eric said, also sincere. <sighs> My mom is gonna fucking kill me. Gumball said depressed. Just wear a hoodie until you're ready to tell her. Eric said. Yeah. Gumball said, still depressed. <laughs> Fuck. Here, smoke some weed and chill. <laughs> <laughs> I can't fucking... <clears throat> Here, smoke some weed and chill for a little bit. I don't like this depressing shit. Eric said, pulling out a bag of weed and tossing it to him. You can keep that. I got more. All right, thanks. Gumball That's said. It? That's like forty fucking dollars a week <laughs> yeah. right there. That's all you can fucking say. And thank, thank you. Okay. I'm sorry. I got this too, so you, you don't have to use mine. Eric said, giving him a glass glow in the dark spoon pipe that spiraled from the bowl to the end of the mouthpiece. Sweet, thanks, man. Gumball said, less depressed. He packed a huge bowl and smoked it. Then another bowl. He put the pipe and weed in his pocket. Whoops. I feel better now. Gumball said calmly. Well, that's good. Eric said. They you, chilled for a little. You know what would make this story great is if they killed a girl. <laughs> I'm just, just I'm, thinking I'm that. Just throwing this out like, I want this to end with them like over and they're just being some like choked out girl lying on the floor. Carrie didn't wake up. <laughs> yeah, Carrie didn't wake up. Oh. <laughs> Carrie the ghost is or another <laughs> the ghost of Carrie. Double ghost. Ghost of a ghost. Oh yeah, that's a good point. Yeah. Okay, they chill for a little. Oh shit! Gumball yelled, checking oh, his they phone. They did. They did kill a girl. <laughs> yeah, this could be it. This could be it. What? Eric said. My mom found out I didn't go to detention on Friday. I completely forgot about that. She is so pissed. I got like 50 texts saying, get home now. Gumball said frantically. Before we leave, I have to say goodbye to Jamie. I also have to point out, you're taking getting a tattoo incredibly well. Like, very well <laughs> for sad. having a brand new tattoo. <laughs> well done. I got it. I got it. Oh, shit. I, got, I forgot to go to detention. I got to say goodbye to Carrie. Gumball said. They both woke their girlfriends, are they both awake or is one dead, and explained their predicament, <laughs> then gave them a kiss before getting ready to leave. Wait, 
Wait, he has a girlfriend? Uh, hey. Fucking, I don't know. After last night. Ja- oh, oh, Jamie, that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Sorry. Oh, that's right, yeah. yeah. I guess Dude, I can't I remember where they were now. now. Yeah, yeah. I'll text you when I get home. Gumball said to Carrie as he was putting on his hoodie and heading out the door. I'll be back to take you two home after I drop Gumball off. Eric said, also heading out the door. Eric pulled up to the front of Gumball's house and let him out. Well, see you later. I'm going to take Jamie and Carrie home now. Eric said, fist bumping (laughs) Gumball. There's going to be some fist bumping going on soon. All right, see you later, dude. Gumball said. Eric left to go to get to go to get Carrie and Jamie. Gumball walked up to the front door and opened it, revealing a pissed Nicole waiting for him on the couch. He walked in and closed the door. Oh, I don't know how to make her sound angry. I've only got her in the sexy voice. Gumball, Christopher Watterson, where have you been? I don't <laughs> sound like that. I don't Nicole. sound like that. Oh, damn. <laughs> Nicole screamed. She then approved him what, what the hell does that mean she i don't know <laughs> what the hell she gave him approval well i don't know about <laughs> well thank you she just kind of like knowingly looked at him and like nodded like mm-hmm. like, like that, that little cool, cool nod you get cool i know what you've been doing <laughs> well thank you for the approval uh i was at Gumball why again. did you skip detention <laughs> nicole yells Gumball explained that he forgot and that the detention was unjust in the first place. You know how Miss Simeon is, Gumball said, finishing his argument. Well, that is true, but... uh... (laughs) Nicole said before smelling the overwhelming scent of alcohol coming from her son. Have you been drinking? Nicole screamed furious. Gumball also had a heart, almost had sorry. Gumball almost had a heart attack when he heard her accusation. No, Gumball yelled defensively. Are you? Are you high too? Nicole yelled even more furious than before, seeing her son's eyes were redder than the devil's dick. <laughs> That's good. There that it is. That is good. That is, that that is, that that is, is some that good is, stuff right there. That is perhaps right the there. best line so far. Also, Redder I'm than the devil's dick. I'm going to use I, that. I, I'm going to use that tomorrow. I think officially, from here on out, it's different from here on out. Oh, like, that's... I, think the, I, think, I think the title of the story has officially happened. Oh, th- this oh. is it. It totally is. This is it. And the devil's dick part. The yeah. Dick. That's, what, it that's what did it. No, I'm not. Gumball yelled defensively, and he unconsciously put his left hand on his tattoo over his hoodie, feeling it was the only thing he had left to hide. <gasps> what are you hiding? Nicole yells, seeing him do this. She ripped off Gumball's hoodie, revealing his tattoo. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Nicole was now so monumentally pissed she couldn't speak. She had reached her <laughs> limits, in quotes. In quotes. Sorry. Yeah, her, Gumball her limits. Did- if you, yeah, if you catch my drift, <laughs> so to speak. Did, yeah, uh, limit. Air quotes. Scumball didn't know what to say. He was trying to process what was happening before receiving a heavy punch to the face, sending oh it to God. the floor. Is <laughs> 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 this happening? Is this really happening? It's not okay. I'm an abusive mother now, bitch. Oh. I'm definitely like a friend, Eric. Nicole snaps out of her rage, realizing she has just punched her own children. She's only one of them. She wow. also had to run and punch Anais and Darwin. Yeah, <laughs> that was, it was earlier. So hard. You go to your, your room, mother. Nicole fucker. said. Nicole <laughs> said, "Cold." Gumball stood up and ran to his room, slamming the door. He sat in front of it and felt tears well up in his eyes. She punched me. She fucking punched me. I feel the same way. <laughs> Gumball said to him, yeah, no, we're all upset. We're all upset. It's okay. Gumball said to himself, tears now rolling down his face. Yeah, I think I'm going to cry. Well, at least she didn't get my weed. Dun, 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 dun. Gumball Sorry, said to himself. That's like a good sitcom moment. 
<laughs> title troll. That's Gun when they all said, laugh and look at the camera and it freezes. Yeah. Freezes. Yeah, yeah. Titles go up. Gumball said to himself after crying for a few minutes, he then got out his pipe and smoked some. How much worse could it get? Gumball thought smoking more weed downstairs. Bum, bum. With... <laughs> Nicole was sitting on the couch, feeling bad for hitting her son. She was still rather angry yeah. and it was keeping her from thinking clearly. Maybe I should go see how he's doing. Nicole thought going upstairs. As she got close to the door, she smelled a familiar scent. Oh, that motherfucker is smoking more weed! Are you Nicole. smoking weed in there? Nicole said, trying to stay calm once she reached Gumball's door. I want you to open this door and give it to me now. Oh, wait, it's not, it's not, no, no, this is not what I think it is. Nicole said, trying to stay calm, please, no, please, no, please. No. Yeah, well, people in hell want ice water. It's mine, and you're fucking getting it. Gumball yelled angrily from inside the room. <laughs> Nicole was turning red from anger. She, she was as red as the devil's how, how dick. Red? The red, the red, the red, the red, yeah. oh, she decided very, very red. She decided to go go cool off in her and Richard's room. When she entered the room, Richard was sitting on the end of the bed. Oh. Honey, what's wrong? Richard said, having heard some of the yelling, Nicole started telling him what happened from the beginning, but stopped right before the part where she punched Gumball. Honey, you could tell me. Richard said, seeing she had, had more to say. I, I, I punched him hard in the face and sent him to his room. Nicole and said, I looked at him, it was awesome, it felt so good. <laughs> <laughs> Nicole said, okay, she didn't really tears. say that last part, but. <laughs> it had finally sunk in that she had hit her child and she liked it. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, 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 wait. So you're telling me you didn't make sandwiches? <laughs> Richard said, trying to comfort his wife. What should I do, Richard? Nicole said, crying her eyes out. It's okay, it's okay. You should go downstairs and make sandwiches. <laughs> Richard said sternly. <laughs> Jesus. I am sorry for hitting him, but he was drunk and high. Nicole said, still crying. Of course he was. He's a teenager. Do you remember when we were teenagers? <laughs> when you used to make sandwiches all the time? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Richard said. I know, but I didn't want him doing the same things we did. Nicole said, sobbing. Nicole, the, per the important thing is that we still have stuff to make sandwiches. <laughs> Hopefully you're getting my, my point. Richard said. Are you trying to tell me you want to get blown? I mean, I mean <laughs> you're right. He is all right. And I do need to say I'm sorry. Nicole said, drying her tears. She got up and left for Gumball's room. Oh, oh, thank Richard. God. I thought Gumball would never cut loose. It's about time he parted a bit. <laughs> he was beginning to worry me. What the Richard. fuck kind of Jesus Christ. Richard thought happily right after Nicole left the room. It's Nicole, good thing my end. wife hit my son in the face. Yeah. Yes. Oh, it's all coming together. His first thought should be, what is the matter with you? <laughs> Nicole walked down the hall. I need to rethink my marriage. <laughs> <laughs> Nicole That's walked what out the hall. should be thinking. It's so weird. <laughs> you think the sandwiches? Nicole walked down the hall and stood in front of Gumball's door. Sweetie, I need to talk to you. Nicole said, still standing in front of the door. She grabbed the doorknob and turned it. Surprisingly, it was unlocked. <sighs> Honey, I know you're mad, but... I just totally lost where I am, sorry. Uh, Nicole began before yeah. opening the door, seeing no one there, and an <gasps> open window. Nicole stood there dumbfounded for a few seconds before putting the pieces together. She ran down the hall and into 
her and Richard's room. He's gone, and there's no more baloney. What? <laughs> <laughs> Nicole yelled to Richard, tearing up. <laughs> or tearing up. What? Richard said, completely lost. No, Paul, he ran away, and I can't make you a baloney sandwich. <laughs> Nicole yelled, now crying. <laughs> Calm down, Richard. Calm down. It's gonna be okay. <laughs> Richard said, "Calm." We need. We need to call the police. Good idea. Maybe they'll come and bring us stuff. Don't bring us food. <laughs> <Don't bring this laughs> food. Nicole said, grabbing the phone, still crying. <laughs> Richard grabbed the phone before she could call them. Wait, honey. Calling the police will make it worse. Look. But they might be able to bring baloney. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, think I won't be able to call for a pizza. Why don't you? Why don't you go walk around and then come back? Trust me. Richard said, setting down the phone. <sighs> okay, I trust you, but you better be right. Nicole said, calming down. A little bit later, Darwin came home from Rachel. Whoa! Um, yeah. Oh, we have a Darwin thing. His entrance, his entrance. I went to his room completely oblivious to the missing brother. Anais was in in her, her the, 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 can't speak. Anais was in her room the whole time, but she was listening to music on her iPod, so she was also oblivious to her missing brother. Wait a minute, I come in and I don't even get any lines? <laughs> Jesus, who wrote this goddamn script? <laughs> Two hours later. ba Gumball has been walking, not caring where he was going since he left the house. He was now in the ghetto of Elmore. Fucking bitch, who does, who does she think she's punching me like that? Sorry, I fucked that up. <laughs> <laughs> Let me give it another go. Do it again. Go. Fucking bitch, who does she think she's punching me like that? Gumball thought just then. He was grabbed and dragged in between two decaying buildings. He was pinned against the side of one of the buildings by a brown coyote wearing a blue skull cap, blue t-shirt, black pants and black sneakers. Standing behind the brown coyote was a red wolf wearing a blue hoodie and black pants. Is this some type of racist shit? Oh, Actually, yeah, money. yeah, it's, that's going to like this. Sorry, the red Give wolf. Give us all your money. The red wolf said, pulling out a butterfly knife. Oh, I thought it said butter knife. Yeah. Butter, and, uh, butterfly. Butter knife. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And make it snappy. Ha. 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 The brown coyote said, laughing. Maniac. Ma- ma- but I can't even say that word. Ma- Maniacally? Maniacally. Yeah, fucking hell. As he throw gumball to the ground. Uh, I, I don't have any money. I just have this baloney. <laughs> oh, <laughs> still afraid. <laughs> well, you're not much use to us then. The red wolf <laughs> said, grinning. I really don't have any money. Just let me go. Gumball said, now worried. Oh, I believe you don't have any money. So you just <laughs> wasted my time. The red wolf said, delivering a kick to Gumball's ribs, causing him to groan in pain and drop the baloney. Yeah, you shouldn't waste our time like that. Aha! Ha ha ha! said, laughing as he kicked Gumball in the middle of the back. They continued beating Gumball for a minute or two before running off. Gumball pulled out his phone and called Eric, barely conscious. Hello? Eric said. Hey, I'm in trouble. I need to go to the hospital. Gumball said as he crawled to the road. Where, where are you? Eric said concerned. Gum- Gumball made it to the road and was looking for a... <laughs> <laughs> a C- 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 a sign? Cian? S-I-A-N. I was like, what the fuck? Oh, God, the name. Sean. Is it a name? Is it Sean? Oh, God. Oh, fuck you. Oh, 
the... I am the mayor of this here city. Uh, we're going to call this one Johnson Avenue, Martin Luther King Drive. That one could be the Boulevard of Broken Dreams. <laughs> I want these empty streets on <laughs> yeah. this boulevard of broken dreams where the dream city guy. sleeps and I'm the only one and I walk alone. Emo, 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 emo. Song reminds me of the said before going unconscious. <laughs> I didn't even say it. Uh, yeah, I know. But that, that, that was, I was pretending it was you. So, you know. Okay. Elmore Hospital. Ba-bum. Gumball awoke to see Eric sitting in a chair next to the bed he was on. My fucking head. Gumball said, putting his hands on his head. Well, it's nice to see you finally woke up. Eric said... Chuckling a little. <laughs> <laughs> Sounded like a belch. <laughs> How long was I out? Gumball asked. About an hour. Yeah, there's just nurses in this place. You want to smell the nurse? You can smell her on my finger. <laughs> uh, your parents are on their way, though. Eric said. <laughs> Great. Gumball said sarcastically. Just then, the door to the room opened, revealing a band, a doctor, and a donut <laughs> cart. I mean, I'm completely yeah, I'm there. I'm there. forgot that Elmore yeah. is populated with ridiculous yeah. characters. I just, I just realized oh. I, I was oh, reading. Oh, yeah, oh. yeah, yeah. The doctors are bad characters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And and the cop is a donut with like tea, teeth in the hole, and yeah. You have some broken ribs, but other than that, just some bumps and bruises. The band aid doctor said. Uh, all right, son. Now, uh, just tell me what happened. The donut cop said, entering the room. Gumball explained what happened and described his attackers. I was afraid of that. They belong to a gang called the EM13s. The donut cop said. The door to the room opened, and there stood Nicole and Richard. Wasn't the door open already? I don't know. I didn't. I didn't see the door close. Continuity. Anyway, yeah, Nicole and Richard. What happened? Nicole asked, concerned. The donut cop explained what happened. <laughs> Are you all right? Nicole said, giving Gumball a hug. Don't touch me. Gumball said angrily, pushing her away. Come on, let's go. Gumball said, standing up. Hey, it's uh, good to see you're all right. Eric said to Gumball. Thanks for bringing me here. It means a lot. Gumball said, giving Eric a bro hug. Oh, yeah, just come and tag, come and tag. No, no, no homo. Oh, yeah. No homo. You smell bro like hug. No, no, you hear what I said? I'm coming for you, Eric. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> no problem. Eric said as they released the bro hug. Gumball left the hospital and went home. As soon as he got home, he went to his room and went to bed. Watterson House. Bum-bum. Monday, 6am. <laughs> Gumball woke to the sound of his alarm clock. He had a... <laughs> I knew someone was going to do that. He had a splitting headache and the alarm didn't help. He shut it off. <laughs> he was sore all over. But his, rib... but his ribs heart... The worst. <laughs> yeah. sure oh. He had a problem with his heart as well. He got his FU shirt, torn blue jeans, and boxers. He got a shower and changed, then ate his breakfast. Gumball went outside and saw Eric, who was waiting for him in his truck, and Carrie with Carrie and Jamie. Gumball walked over and got in. How are you feeling? Carrie said to Gumball after giving him a kiss. I'm really sore. Gumball said. Maybe this will help. Carrie said. She leaned over and gave him a French ah! kiss. Tongues and all. With, with how incredibly lame Gumball is this story, I wouldn't be... Sp- Whoa, why is your tongue in my mouth? Whoa, that's weird. <laughs> Whoa, wait, what's going on? Ooh. Eric, you're going to have to explain who the French kiss is. 
Well, I've bridge kissed about seven million girls, and I'll tell you one thing: you got to get your tongue Eric, around. Why is this thing between my legs? Oh, right, no. What's going on, buddy? <laughs> oh no! I read ahead. <laughs> oh no! I think oh, you Jesus. need a lot more than just that. <laughs> Jamie. Jamie said, smirking. This caused them both to break apart and blush a little. You're going to have to wipe down the seat. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Gross. <laughs> Where's my kiss? Eric said to Jamie. Ash, right here. <laughs> Jamie said as she straddled him in his seat. She gave him a kiss. I want to see how uncomfortable we can make them. You can, Jamie. Put, your, you can put your fingers anywhere. Uh, I mean, it's, it's, I think that's what's going to happen. Jamie whispered you don't need in to Eric's about it. <laughs> Jamie whispered in Eric's ear, making him chuckle. Jamie then grabbed mm. Eric's crotch and continued to make out with him. Eric slapped Jamie's ass, making Gumball and Carrie look over to see what was happening. <laughs> Gumball and Carrie were watching them uncomfortably. <laughs> Eric was kissing Jamie's neck, making fuck? her moan. He was grabbing her ass and she was sliding closer to him, opening her legs more. Carrie and Gumball didn't know what to do. They just watched on, getting more uncomfortable by the second. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Nicole, this is parked out in the front yard. Should we call the cops? <laughs> <laughs> Way to go, son. <laughs> oh my god. I, I fucking can't say this shit. <laughs> I, don't, I don't want to take me right here. Jamie said seductively. <laughs> what? You two know we're still here, right? Carrie said, now very uncomfortable. Jamie just ignored her and took off her shirt, <laughs> revealing her frilly pink lace bra. Uh, hey, what the fuck, guys? Gumball said, trying to get out of the truck, but the door was locked and the passenger <laughs> side can't be unlocked from the inside unless you hit the button on the driver's side. Just what so we all fuck? know. Eric and Jamie were trying to hold in their laughter. Let's make them watch. I love it when they can <laughs> smell it. Jamie said seductively. Well, had such a she, bad few days. As she unbuttoned Eric's <laughs> pants, Carrie and Gumball were now more uncomfortable than ever. Both turned a bright shade of red. A red? A red, a red as the devil's dick. Yeah, oh, rock yeah. on. Yeah. <laughs> oh, fuck. Stop it. I don't want to see you two fuck right next to us. Gumball yelled, now struggling to get out. Jamie and Eric saw the looks on their faces and lost it. Jamie got off Eric and put his shirt on while Eric but buttoned his pants. <laughs> <laughs> You're fucking lucky. <laughs> oh, bunch of losers. Eric said, still laughing. <laughs> yeah. We would have gone, though, with it if you didn't say something. Jamie said, still laughing as well. Well, don't let it happen again, Gumball said, extremely uncomfortable. Man, <laughs> I'm as hard as a diamond in an ice storm. <laughs> <laughs> Not as good as Red as the Devil's Dick. I don't, this is very... Still good. Not as good. Okay, why is a diamond harder in an ice storm than... Why... I was just going to say... It's the, it's just as hard as in anywhere else, really, isn't it? So, uh, we'll, scientifically we'll have, bullshit. We'll, we'll have to finish up later. <laughs> Eric said to Jamie, smirking. You know it. Jamie said, giving Eric a kiss. Oh my God! Stop it! Carrie said, also extremely uncomfortable, causing Eric and Jamie to laugh. <laughs> All right, let's get to school. Eric said, laughing. He pulled out. <laughs> he pulled out, and they headed for school. <laughs> Eric's parking bum, spot bum. by the school. He's got his own parking spot. 
Okay. Well, he's Eric. He's the best. He's Eric. He yeah, probably I, says I really Eric just... the best parking spot right on it. Yeah. <laughs> you two, uh, you two going up ahead. Just scamper on in there. We'll be in there in a little bit. Eric said to Gumball and Carrie as he unlocked the door. Gumball and Carrie got out of the truck and went into the school. In the school. What did he want to talk about? Jamie said. I want to find out the guys who... I guess we're not going to fuck. Just, I know. I, know. I, was, I didn't know where it was going. Just, just have a seat right there. Yeah. Um, I want to find out the guys who eat gumball and make sure it doesn't happen again. Eric said. Only if I get to beat one up too. Jamie said. Sure, you can have first pick. Eric said. All right. So, you want to finish what we started? Because I'm moist. Oh, God. Jamie said seductively. You're the Ace e- is going to get to do himself. <laughs> you're, the, yeah. you're, the, you're the easiest girl I've ever met. Eric thought. You're f- fucking right. Eric said. <laughs> Did I agree with myself? <laughs> yeah. I don't know if he's agreeing with Eric or Jamie. I thought he was agreeing with Jamie. Yeah, do you want to finish? He's agreeing with himself. Yeah. Well Yeah, and himself. I should kinda tell you something first. Jamie said sheepishly. Uh what? Eric said. Well, are you familiar with that the new rules regarding Target? Because they apply to me. If you know what I mean. <laughs> Jamie said, rubbing the back of her head sheepishly. <laughs> Nah, I don't care about that. I think you're the coolest, funniest, and most beautiful girl I've ever met. And I ain't never shop at no Target, so I don't know what you're talking about. Eric said sincerely. Well, I do have boobs and ass. <laughs> Jamie said. That works. Eric said sincerely. Jamie kissed him passionately. This is romantic. <laughs> All right, let's make this quick. Jamie quick, said, quick, taking quick, off her shirt quick, and bra. This is so terribly awkward. <laughs> just Eric, just do it. Cut away! Eric. Cut away! <laughs> you got to look. Eric Next quickly, scene. <laughs> Next scene. Eric, Eric quick. I'm gonna read slower. Eric quickly <laughs> buttoned his pants and pulled his pants along with his boxers down around his ankles. Ah! <laughs> you knew. You knew this was coming. Uh, it, it will be soon. At this point, I will I will not improv the rest of the scene. I'm going to just read it straight. Yeah, oh, you God. Do it. Please All right, don't. Yeah. Uh, just suck on it a little to get it hard. Eric said, oh, Jamie did what she was asked, asked and sucked on it until it was hard. Wait, what? Did, we sucked on what? It. I don't know what it the noun is. On it. It. Okay. It will be really revealed later. No, uh, yeah, we I don't all know what, yeah. float down here. We all float. <laughs> Stop sucking on me. <laughs> I'll kill you all. You all taste so much better. Oh, stop sucking on me. Oh, God. <laughs> Would you like a balloon? Do you want a balloon? Oh, God, no, stop. Oh, jeez. Oh, disgusting. I'm being sucked on again. I'm supposed to be terrifying you, damn it. Have a balloon. God, get out. No, I'm leaving. <laughs> beep, beep. Okay, now take off your pants and lay on your back. Eric said, getting a condom from his wallet and putting it on. Jamie took off her pants and thong, then laid her across <laughs> the seat. This is so awkward. <laughs> no, yeah. Yeah. There's just four guys no, reading is... gumball sets. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's so funny. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, God. Right, okay. Come on, I want to find out what happens. I What's your favorite know. Power Man 5000 line? Uh, <laughs> drop the bombshell? Close. Uh, are you ready to go? Because I'm ready to go. What you got? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Are you, you ready? Eric said. Oh, yeah. Oh, Jamie said, spreading her legs. Eric laid on top of her. And, come on, we all wanted we all wanted to see Eric have sex. This is it. Eric laid on top of her. Eric was the best. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, yeah. And slowly teased his dick 
inside her wet pussy, causing yeah. her to moan and die. Yeah. <laughs> Keep going. Oh, that's what it was. Okay. Wait, hang I'm, on. I gotta unzip I'm, here. Yeah. <laughs> Are we all out now? Yeah, okay. And dig her nails in his back. In his back? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Eric licked her nipples while thrust, <laughs> making her moan in pleasure. <laughs> he then began to make out with her. <laughs> After a few minutes, and increased the speed of his thrust. After seven more minutes, precisely, of violent thrusting, oh God. The, violent. That's, that's, they both achieved an orgasm simultaneously, which never ever happens. Jamie's nails dug deep into Eric's back. Eric pulled out and tr- and tied the condom in a knot. Oh, I'm assuming he took the condom off his penis first. I'm not sure. He. <laughs> He threw it out the window into a storm drain. That's what it says. Which, by the way, now means Eric Seaman is into the water supply. So every oh, woman, no. every woman in fucking uh, Elmore is now pregnant with the sea. Pregnant? Oh, it's well. Yeah, I mean, he is the best. So. Fertile. This They're is now lucky, what they refer to women, as yeah. the event. <laughs> Different from here on out, guys. Different. From here on out. <laughs> this, this water tastes. Strangely familiar. There's okay. these giant fucking tadpoles in it. <laughs> oh god. Oh. Yeah, okay. wakes up you fucking bled all over oh. the seat. <laughs> they said in unison, I wonder how you're gonna do that. Uh they both got dressed and went into the school. They kissed before going to their separate classes. Eric just made the bell for Miss Simeon's class. Dude, where were you? Said to Eric, oh, as so Eric nice. sat in his seat. having really gross sex. <laughs> Eric, Eric said, "Okay." Google said, <laughs> "Later that day, bum, bum, bum. in boys' locker room." So, so where were you this morning? You almost missed the bell. Oh, you almost missed the bell. <laughs> Gumball's your bell. Gumball said to Eric as he was changing for gym. Well, me and Jamie were fucking in my truck. <laughs> it was so good. She was so tight with the tight little ass and those little titties. I was just smacking them around. So oh, God. Shit. Man, Eric. Wait, it, was, it was so tight. It was like it was it was like trying to fuck a baby. That's what. It <laughs> oh my was. God, this chapter so long. She was, Eric she was said, squirming helplessly please. under my, my my beer gut was pressing up against her fucking stomach and the top of her cunt, and she could do nothing about it. She was crying out for more, and I was choking her with my tongue gumball with her fucking tongue. She couldn't breathe gumball. She was clawing to get out, and I wouldn't let her get out. She was Dude. stuck in my basement. She was in my love basement, Gumball. Oh. She got pissed up real good. I jammed my balls up in her ass. Oh, oh no, 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 no. Oh, God. My balls still smell like her butt sweat. Oh, no. Eric said happily. <laughs> I bet. Oh, fuck it up. Okay, man, that's cool. <laughs> Gumball said comfortably. Oh. You need to quit being so uncomfortable. Trust me, when you and Carrie finally fuck, that is all you're gonna want to talk about. Speaking of which, where, where, when are you two gonna get dirty? Eric said. I'm not going to tell you that. Gumball said, embarrassed. Dude, I caught you jerking off to a magazine in the bathroom. You can't tell me when you're planning to make a move? Eric said. Shh, keep your voice down. Fine, I'll tell you, Gumball said nervously. I was going to tonight. Mom will be at work. Dad will be asleep. Darwin will be at Rachel's conveniently. And 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 none. Anais. Anais. It's a weird last name. At a friend's, so I'll have until 8 p.m. to do something. But I need you to stay downstairs with Dad and make sure he doesn't wake up. Gumball set. You want me to kill your dad? <laughs> <laughs> so you see, the way that you make sure that somebody doesn't wake up is you get this little pill right here and you say to them, do you want a cappuccino? And you put the That's pill the new, into the cappuccino. 
This is the new new kid from school. Uh, this is uh, Bill Cosby. Uh, proportionally, <laughs> Bill, um, he's trying to make the dad stay asleep, not the girl. So I don't think it's going to work. Different situation. Fuck <laughs> you, oh, okay. Eric said. Fine, Gumball said. After school. After school. Bum bum. <laughs> Gumball, Carrie, Jamie, and Eric just got into the green truck. <laughs> oh, jeez. It smells funny in here. Carrie said. Like what? Eric said, smirking to himself. I don't know. It just smells weird. Carrie said. Kind of like a bleach and cunt. <laughs> <Yeah>. What? what? <laughs> Carrie said, not hearing him. Nothing. I need some tunes. <laughs> Eric said, putting a CD in. And turning it up. Heavy metal music play. Yeah, and you're reading all of this. Oh, oh for fuck's sake. What ah! the song? Oh, God! <laughs> what song is that? Oh, God! It's... I don't know go. what song it is. It's a song okay. you're going to sing. I'm not going to sing it, but I will, I will speak well, it. Here, you go, you know, bring it. Bring it. Perfect. My so life you... is perfect, so you believe. <laughs> Are you that stupid? Because I strongly disagree. Oh, I know I'm what this is. <laughs> what song is it? This is um, this is Five Finger Death Punch. Uh, this is Five Finger Death Punch, but I can't remember the name of the. Uh, I strongly disagree. I'm not, I'm not a martyr. Right? More like a thief. Your rules are twisted and they don't affect me. I can't remember the title now. So keep going. Oh, it's so dot your eyes. Thing. It's dot your eyes. Oh, dude. what's the matter? It's just little old me. I know you're what's kind. You're matter? fucking blind. I give a shit. Don't give a shit about anything. I know. Oh, well, that was it. <laughs> Yeah. Carry. 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 Oh wait, I'm nice. trying to. I'm trying oh, to go. Carry. Wait, yeah. where All is right. it? I'm, Are you going through? The... I'm skipping ahead. I'm trying to find where it is because the lyrics just keep going. <laughs> oh really? Oh wait, where what is, is it? it about like fan oh. fiction and adding music to it? I there don't it understand is. that. Uh, People nice, do that so like, often. There, I, f- I finally found it. Nice, you like heavy metal too. Carry said. Uh, fucking last. Uh, I don't know where we are. Fucking, fucking right. right. Why is he Everyone writing said, all the lyrics to dot your uh, eyes in this song? He likes the song. Eric said, then sang along with the song. There ain't nothing in this world for free. There's not a man, not a man I believe. Give a rat's ass what you think about me. I'll dot your eyes and crush your fucking teeth. Bring it. You're just a trend. It's gonna end. I stand in place. Where your motherfuckers bend. You own a clock, your time is up, your bottom feed is it's just time to give up. The song continued with Carrie and Eric really getting into it. Gumball and Jamie were getting into it as well. Eric drove them to Gumball's house and parked the truck. They got out the truck and went into the house. Me and Jamie are going to hang out here for a while. Eric said, seeing the heavily sleeping Richard. Okay. Gumball said, winking at Eric, who nodded. Carrie and Gumball went into Gumball's room, room, while Eric and Jamie stayed downstairs. And me too. I'm here to just make sure that Richard <laughs> stays asleep. You see, because my specialty is making sure that people don't wake up when you don't want them to. Administer your special brew. <laughs> okay, so what's up? Jamie said, suspicious. Well, they're gonna fuck, and we have to keep an eye out on him. Not not him in the back seat, but him in the front, but over there. Richard. Eric. Eric said, looking at Richard. So we are working babysitting duty while they have all the fun? Jamie said. Yeah, pretty much. Eric said. Well, it doesn't look like he's waking up anytime soon, <laughs> so maybe. I don't know, maybe we can have some fun of our own. Jamie said, smiling. God. You, uh, you read my mind. <laughs> Eric said. Are they in... Are, are they in Richard's room? No, I think so. <laughs> he's on the couch. <laughs> he's on the okay. couch downstairs. Yeah, yeah, It'd be funnier if they were. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> just standing over his bed making sure he doesn't wake up. <laughs> he's holding a baseball bat every time he stirs. Why are you guys standing over me? 
Just you'll, take a little scavenge lead over and go back to sleep. You'll feel a lot better in the morning. Your butt might hurt a little bit, but that's just from the pokey pokey. <laughs> Gumball's room. Ba bum. Carrying Gumball was sitting on his bed. Oh god! That oh no, no 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 no! no, no. That's a we... fucking no no! No 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 no! Go on. Oh jeez. Carrie, you love me, right? Go on, <laughs> You're such a sleazy motherfucker. Uh, yeah. yeah. I have god. for a while. You were always so nice to me when no one else was. You uh, you love me too, right? Carrie said. Of course I do. Of course I do. Uh, which is uh, which is why I wanted to ask if you uh, if you would uh, you know want to have uh, sex. Gumball said very nervously. Now is your chance. Don't fuck it up. Carry thought. Uh, yeah, yeah, I want to. Carrie said nervously. Gumball was relieved to hear this. One prediction. How much do you guys think Eric's going to fuck this up somehow? Because this author can't go five minutes without including Eric somewhere. Either we're going to have a cutaway of and Eric was getting stoned, or something is going to happen where they're fucking and Eric comes running in and like, hey, I've got to be in the scene too. Du, 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 du. You, you guys, you all need reason. somebody to give you some pointers. <laughs> That's exactly what I'm expecting. Yeah. Yeah. Really like that. And I'd be like, I don't know where to put it in. Eric, uh, help! Eric, come help me. Uh, how do oh. we start? Oh, it's going to start. How do we start? Carrie said, embarrassed. You see, you got to <laughs> <laughs> I guess we start by taking off our clothes. Gumball said, taking off his shirt. It's all on taking off his shirt, arousing Carrie. She followed suit and took off her top and bra. Seeing this made Gumball hard as a rock. They both continued until they were both completely naked. Uh, They're not touching each other. So I just uh, <laughs> lay on my back and let you do your thing? Carrie said nervously, laying down on the bed. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> Gumball said nervously. Y'all need some pointers? <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, please. Yeah. Show, can yeah. you show me how to fuck her? Can you just, like, show me and <laughs> then I'll Get on there and after. do it for me, please. Uh, yeah, you do it. I watched. It's fine. Oh, oh, I, uh, I need my condom. Gumball said. He went to his dresser, pulled it out, and fought with a wrapper a bit before getting it on. He, he got, got on the head. bed. Just... Yeah, okay. <laughs> This is kind of tight for my, my, my forehead, but already oh, now I'm protected. Oh, he got on the bed and attempted to insert his manhood into Carrie's wet pussy, but it was proving to be difficult as he didn't know how to go about doing it. After a little, you guys need some He fucked your pee hole, didn't he? Uh, oh god! That's exactly <laughs> what happened. After a little, he got it in the whole way, making Carrie moan. Oh, that feels so good. They both said it in unison. Gumball started the thrust, increasing the pleasure for both of them. It wasn't long before both of them climaxed. By not long, he means two seconds. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh-oh. That was so good. You want to go again? Carrie said, out of breath, and a little disappointed. <clears throat> yeah, but we have to wait a little for my dick to get hard again. Gumball said, out of breath, removing the condom, co co condom, condom, and throwing it in the trash. I'm going to go get some water. I'll be right back. Gumball said, putting his clothes <laughs> back on. All that reminds me of is that scene from Rick and Morty where he, Morty gets the sex robot. And and he, all, goes oh. the he runs downstairs, he drinks oh. the container of juice, and then yeah. goes back upstairs. He's just... <laughs> Literally, and they're fucked. all sitting at the table going, "Are we just going to pretend this isn't happening?" <laughs> <laughs> oh, That's Rick, so I need cool. help. Okay, one second. Okay, now <laughs> if it starts squeaking, we'll go up and interfere. <laughs> oh, I'll be waiting. 
Oh, uh, Carrie said seductively. Gumball left the room and headed for the kitchen. Kitchen. Bum, bum. Eric and Jamie. Jamie oh, and Eric. God. Oh, fuck <laughs> Jesus. Right. Yeah. Here we go. Here we go. We're in the kitchen now with Eric and Jamie. Jamie and Eric were fucking doggy style on the kitchen table in the dark without a stitch on their bodies except for Eric's mask, of course. Of course. There were, cl- there were clothes scattered everywhere. The cutaway is in the living room. Richard is trying as hard as to pretend like he's asleep because he doesn't acknowledge that two random kids are fucking in. No, no, don't worry. That's why I came home to make sure that all you kitties have a good time. I hate okay. sex dialogue. I knew oh, it was yeah. so bad. Yeah. Right, yeah. <sighs> Jamie moaned. You're so tight. Eric said, thrusting harder. The lights were flicked on, making them panic and turned to see who it was. Ah, uh, we fucking eat there. Gilmore said, seeing the two, he quickly looked into the living room to make sure his dad was still asleep, which he was. He turned his attention back to the two in the kitchen, who were now trying to cover themselves as best they could. <laughs> what the hell is wrong with you two? Gumball said in a hushed tone. Wait, how, how are you done already? It's only been a few minutes. Eric said in a hushed tone as well. I don't know, because... Don't try to change the subject. Why were you two fucking on the kitchen table? Gumball said. We thought we would have enough time for a quick one. Jamie said, embarrassed. Yeah, it's not our fault you're a three-pump chill. <laughs> Eric said jokingly. I said jokingly, earning a giggle from Jamie, but Gumball was unamused. (laughs) Tee (laughs) hee. Whatever. I need some more condoms. Carrie wants to go again. Gumball said embarrassed. He had said embarrassed he had to ask. All right, here, let me get this one off. (laughs) (laughs) Kind of roll it off. It's a bit bit stretched out, but you'll be fine. Eric said, tossing him his used condom. Of course, because he needs the biggest size possible. He's Eric. Yeah. Yeah, it's Eric. Also, uh, here's here's a couple of more so you don't come back. Oh, I'm gonna come, all right. <laughs> come out of my back. dick. You can come on a back. Okay, just clean the table with bleach when you're done. It's the least you can do after soiling it. Gumball said. Sounds like shit on it. Oh. <laughs> it probably did. Oh, maybe. Uh, maybe we're into that. I don't know. Now, Gumball, I have to tell you something about Pussy Stank. <laughs> pussy Stank is primarily ammonia. If I mix bleach with that shit, it's gonna make mustard gas. <laughs> Eric, Eric said, helpfully. Gumball went back upstairs and Jamie and Eric went back to doing what they were doing before Gumball showed up. Ooh, what Gumball. was it? <laughs> bum, bum. Soil in the tape, kitchen table. Gumball's room. <laughs> Carrie, Carrie and Gumball fucked until all the condoms were gone. And you we know one of them fucking... he just peed in, right? He <laughs> <laughs> was just like, I wonder what it'd be like to pee inside of you while wearing a condom. Water balloon! <laughs> <Red and finger. laughs> uh, they were now talking. Oh, geez. I think that's what he thinks coming is. <laughs> Every time he just peed. <laughs> It's white wee wee. Oh god. We're going to fucking hell. <laughs> I think we're in hell. Already. Uh, uh, it's my turn. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, they were having sex on the kitchen table. Gumball said to Carrie, finishing the story. Wow, that's messed up. Carrie said, laughing. Yeah, and Eric told me they had sex in his truck before school today, too. Gumball said, laughing as well. <laughs> wow, that's... Wow, we're going to have to make sure to keep an eye on them in public. They might, you know, just be animals doing it anywhere. <laughs> Carrie said, still laughing. Let's go see if they're done. It's been three hours. Gumball said, getting up and putting it on his clothes. All right. Carrie said, doing the same. Once they were both clothed, they went downstairs, and to their relief, Jamie and Eric were both fully clothed as well. Hey, uh, we broke the table, so we didn't need to worry about (laughs) cleaning it. (laughs) He needs to buy a new one. 
Just said go. Uh, Eric said to Gumball. Uh, how many times did you do it? Carrie said. All of them. <laughs> <laughs> Eric said. <laughs> we we did it five times. Gumball gloated, making Carrie blush. Yeah, and you also had to walk down there and ask me for fucking condoms, you fucking piece of shit. <laughs> Eric said. I also joking. want to point out he flushed the condoms down the toilet. <laughs> Yeah, I know, right? I was thinking the same thing. When did... I don't think that this guy has had sex or <laughs> drank or had tattoos before. I think he, he has. He's just done it wrong. <laughs> Everything he's done in his life has been every, wrong. Every single, time, every single time he puts it in her, a little bit has to pull out and put on another condom. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez, I'm going through these condoms. And four was enough. <laughs> Done. <laughs> One, two, three, four. Done. <laughs> Done there. It must equal four times the right? Oh, but yeah, exactly. Oh, fuck it. Right. Where are we? Oh, I don't know. Where are we? Um, whatever, Gumball said. Oh, whatever. Gumball said, laughing a little. You guys just want to stay here tonight since Eric drives us. Is this a question? You guys just want to oh, stay yeah. here tonight since Eric drives us anyway? The bull said. Yeah! They all said. Can you drive me to me and Carrie to our houses to get some clean cloths? <laughs> <laughs> Jamie said to Eric. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I gotta get me some cloth too. <laughs> Eric said. Eric drove Carrie and Jamie to their houses and stopped at his house before returning to Gumball's. It was now 7.30pm and the group was talking amongst themselves in Gumball's room. Richard had just woken up from his power nap. <laughs> at 7.30 at night. <laughs> yeah. Wait, power nap. so this was, in the, this was during the day? This wasn't at night? No, <laughs> during the day, yeah. Okay. Yeah. <sighs> Why does the house smell like cunt? <laughs> Richard thought smelling it and getting up off the couch he went upstairs to check on Gumball he knocked on Gumball's door and entered hey guys Richard said seeing the group talking amongst themselves hey hey, dad Gumball said get the fuck out of here hey Mr. Watterson the rest of them said Richard noticed the waste basket had used condoms in it. The group didn't see this and continued talking. <laughs> huh, I knew it. Richard thought. Uh, <clears throat> Gumball, uh, I'm turning into Eric. This is going to be Eric from now on. Uh, Everyone's Gumball. Be Eric. Oh, um, Eric. Can I talk to you privately for a moment? Richard said he went downstairs and waited in the living room. Gumball and Eric looked at each other and shrugged. They went downstairs and stood in front of Richard. What's up, Dad? Gumball said. Oh, God, that's so awkward. Yeah, no. <laughs> you two weren't crushing pussy while I was asleep, were you? <laughs> Because <laughs> this whole house smells like cunt and gumball. You have used condoms in your wastebasket, which I'm assuming are yours, but I'm not prepared to rule out the fact that you've been filling them with lotion. <laughs> Richard said calmly. Gumball and Eric froze with their eyes growing big. That's all I needed to hear. Eric, do you know how to make sandwiches? <laughs> which it said uh, well I flushed my condoms down the toilet but yeah okay at least you know how to make sandwiches <laughs> but look I'm not mad I'm happy you two are getting laid I was really worried about Gumball you know kind of a loser I'm just I'm sorry Gumball I'm just saying you're kind of a kind of a weird kid you know, it's good. The whole weird se- the real se- I'm sorry, to the, the the actual sentence on the page it's, is so fucking weird. 
Yeah, um, yeah, it is. Ace, 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 do the actual sentence. Don't Please, have it. next time, just yeah. tell me to leave the house for a while. I don't want to accidentally wake up and accidentally walk in on one of you. I won't tell your mother about this and get rid of the condoms and face baskets. Which is sad. He, this, he is a cool dad, though. He is cool. Yeah, it's cool. Like, at least he so. doesn't punch him in the fucking face. Yeah. <laughs> That's my job! I'm doing all the punching around here. Eric and Gumball just nodded. Uh, all right, I'm going. Uh, going to my room. Um, if any of those girls want a chance with a real man, um, your mom's not going to be home for a few hours. Just throwing it out there. <laughs> Richard I'm gonna, said, "I'm, I'm going to be laying down. I'll also have night court turned on pretty loud, so I won't be able to hear anything. But just, just in case." He walked up the stairs and went into his room. Just, just in case. Just throwing that out there. Night court's on. Dude, your dad is cool. <laughs> Eric said, once he regained his composure. Wow, he is pretty cool. I didn't expect him to be so chill about it. Gumball said, also regaining his composure. They decided to keep their talk with Richard to themselves. <laughs> to, to, wait, to themselves? Uh, yeah. Hey, Banana Joe. Yeah, we had a talk with Gumball's dad about fucking. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Dad. I know you're working at the prison tonight, but I had a talk with another of my friends' dad about fucking. <laughs> hey, who the, are they gonna tell? I guess Carrie. I guess Carrie and Jamie is obvious, but it's already awkward enough. Could you imagine? Just like, like they decided not to tell them. Like, what are they gonna say? Like, hey, Gumball's dad knows about us fucking. But <laughs> 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 again, this time. This time, let's do it on his face. <laughs> what a weird sentiment that is. That's really weird to me. Like, 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 it's, 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 I get what he's trying to say. I get it's that they decided that they're not going to talk about it more, but keeping it to themselves is a weird fucking sentiment. To me, that's, that's, that's seriously like, like, hey, let's keep this one between us, if you know what I mean. Uh, 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 uh. Yeah, it's a bit weird. What did he want? Jamie said as they entered the room. Nothing. Eric said. Jamie and Carrie were suspicious, but figured it wasn't anything worth it. They just dropped it. Thought for a while and eventually went to sleep. And that's the end of chapter four. Oh, good oh, lord, that was long. That gonna... was wicked long. Oh, yeah. It was right, long. Wow. Oh, Jesus Christ. Right, that was good. It was good, though. It was fun. It was fun. So, uh, yeah, yeah. I think we better sign off. We better sign off. I need to fucking sleep after that. Totally. <laughs> nah, I'm, well, I'm going to have a wank first because there was some, like, oh, obviously, hot, obviously. sexy, sexy bits in there. So, listen, using the uh, healing power of my beard, I want to remind everybody that if it looks like magic, it is not magic. It is science or worse. So, deal with it. So, uh, Bye, everybody. Bye. See you all next week. Bye. Say bye. Bye, Matt. Bye, Ace. Bye, Seth. Bye, Bye, Bye.